It is a story you'll see only here on Five. They have made their concerns loud and clear. They fear that something in their hometown is making them sick. Families concerned about glioblastoma cases in St. Lucie County sat down with their congressman. Now News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts has the big steps that he has taken on their behalf to now push for answers. These are the stories. I get off work one day and I come home have a seat. That some say too many people in St. Lucie County are telling. How old was she? She was 59. But Friday night, these glioblastoma fighters and their families got a new listener, their congressman, Brian Mast. He spent more than an hour listening to about a dozen people and their concerns over the seemingly high number of cases in the county. If it is something, we really need to know. And if it's just coincidence, we really need to know. If you hear about a concentration of cancer, uh, not just in one county, but to think that's within a couple miles of one another, you know, almost nearly a dozen cases, that's concerning to anybody that hears about it. It was very concerning to me. His team started making calls after our first stories aired. The best thing that I can say is that the Center for Disease Control uh, you know, wants to jump on this and, and see where they can get involved and, and how they can be of assistance. That's big news to this group. Determined the number of cases is not normal, despite the health department saying the number is expected countywide. Mass echoing their desire to see an investigation zero in on smaller areas within the county, where some people were diagnosed within blocks or even on the same street. While some of the health department numbers might suggest that countywide, the numbers countywide, it's not something to, to completely be alarmed about. When you look at the proximity that, that all the individuals that we were speaking to uh, here this evening, uh, that li they live within uh, from one another, it's alarming. Mass praising them for telling their stories. Through your, your reporting and your story, uh, you know, dozens of people coming forward since then saying, hey, this has affected somebody in my family or this has affected me directly. Um, this is the way the community comes together. Megan was the first local reporter to share these families' concerns about the rare cancer cases and the Treasure Coast. You can watch all of her stories from the beginning. Just go to WPTV.com slash glioblastoma.